can't believe this. Or Necro's be off lane. That feels so scary. Necro off lane's a little underwhelming. It's a troll. Yep, good to push him back. Necro not really getting a hell of a lot out of his lane either. Monkey King doubling him in last hits, and I think doing slightly better in terms of experience. Yeah. And a nice little edge there. And Trolls CS 15-6 versus the 16-8 on Fada, so relatively even. But now that Yapsor is rotated in, this is really starting to tip in favor of the Radiant. Topson getting kind of low. They find it. It's the Spike Carapace from Yapsor <laughs> that secures the first blood and bring down brings down the Troll. Very There's nothing to tip you off as Necrophos. There's no giant thing on your mini-map. And suddenly there's a Monkey King behind you. Yeah. It seems so obvious. Surprise! Right? Spectator, but Neek was like, wow, what the hell? Where did this guy come from? He's gonna have the Ghost Shroud, though, so he should be able to survive through this. I think Ace looking for body blocks here. He pump fakes the ultimate, and now they've got the right clicks. They will indeed secure the kill. For the range creep. What a professional. Oh, and the catapult. He's rolling in the dough right now. But yeah, mid tower is the next problem for the dire. Oh, I see, I see, that's half your HP. Vata, caught by Telekinesis. Cold Feet comes in. Chrono on two. They'll bring down Fada immediately. But now Yapsor on the run does not have anything left. And it's a two. Two for one special in the TST coming around the backside. That's a dire ward down that's in lane. So they've got pretty good vision of where the Monkey King is. He catches him with the Telekinesis. And now mid one will fall. Another nice rotation. Put over to leech some experience from Thompson. Just... Oh! There it is. He's gonna tank the gank, too. Soul Catcher to follow up. STST, way too much damage. He will drop in the blink of an eye as C Tower. And Voidal is walking to the tree line. Still 40 seconds until Chrono's up. But there are a lot of Radiant heroes inbound. They're pinging it out. They have an idea of where he is. Shadow Poison connects. Mid one up on the trees. Okay, they missed time the disruption, but that's fine. It'll be the setup for Yapsor and another easy kill for Team Secret. Yep. Uh, they now rotate all down. This looks so eerily similar to before, too, right? Like, oh, here we go. Chrono. Ice Blast. On the combo. Oh, ice Blast to follow up. It does connect. They bring down Yapsor. They execute Fada. And just like that, difficult to execute, but SFT get it done this time. The question is, is it going to be like last game, where every time it felt like they had the success, the network just kept climbing for secret? But they still, still up for now. Defense here. This tower very low, but Monkey King nearby in the tree line. SDST gets stunned. He's very low, and Anti Mage will pop him one last time to secure the kill. Now Monkey King, the leap forward, slows down the Ancient Apparition. Troll jumps in. Battle Trance is popped, but stunned by Yapsor, catches him in the tree line. Monkey King gives him a love tap. It's a 4v- Gotta increase that farm speed. Yeah, okay. Yapsor, though, he's going right in for the void. Oh, nice sentry. Now Yapsor could be in trouble. Telekinesis back. Ice Blast will connect, and there is no saving. This will buy him some time, but he'll pop out of disruption, and he will pop immediately. Now Puppy on the run. Nikwa trying to chase him down. Void inbound. No Chrono. Already used the time walk, but there's Topson. Catches him with the ranged axes, and some right clicks will finish him off. Secret giving a... He's still number one on net worth. He's got his battle fury. He's just sitting in the jungle playing farm bill, having a good old time. Oh, wait, there's more. Chrono, Ice Blast, and equal with the Reaper Siphon. Trent, I don't know if I've ever seen a better cake. You're doing well. You just killed an ox, and the next day, you died of dysentery. Oh, jeez. Okay. If it's any hero that's dysentery. Fun game. Peksu on the run. He is in deep. Monkey King will hit him with the strike that has no bounds. Demonic Purge will follow, and the Iceman will melt. Now back out of four. Uh, it, yeah. It's it's pretty impressive. Like definitely, like I I see the proud. I see the part of this team that upset OG earlier in this tournament. Now yeah, exactly. They're gonna set up here on the top side, but he's actually just gonna turn. He says Monkey King's ult. It matters not. I'm just gonna run through this. Puppy now trying to follow up with the cavalry. It's here. Illidan, he does not have the ultimate. He's silenced, but Pugna doing a lot of damage. They're about to bring down Ancient Apparition. He will fall mid one in pretty far forward. He's still alive, but Reaper Scythe will finish him off. Now Thompson, he's regenerated. He comes right back in on the Fada. They get the bashes. The Bash brothers are in town as Puppy TPs home. A one for two, and it is a favorable fight for the Dire. However, Rubik does fall to the wrath of... To be honest, 
Uh, uh, however, Illidan might be in trouble with that Chrono. Top lane, that's a lot of heroes. Sure is. He's not gonna get to do anything. Man, that's a lot of stun locks. This is the, the beauty of Monkey King that still allows him to be support in, like, pubs and stuff, is that range of initiation. Secret. Mid lane. Or, pardon me, Puppy. <laughs> Mid lane, one on three. Ice Blast will fly through. They don't even need it. Another easy pickoff. So they go one for one, but it is a core for support. And then up top, they'll force a glit point. He's leaving the chariot like he should be, but it's a Void and a Troll. These are two great heroes up against Animation. Yeah. Oh, Chrono on two. Illidan sets it up for the Ice Blast and will fly in. Ace is down. Yapsor on the run. He pops the self. Another beautiful Chrono from Illidan, man. He is five out of five. Yeah, and some nice vision from the Dire, just helping to track the movements of this Animage across the map. Ooh, speaking of the Dire, though. Yep, uh, is Cargo on the Courier? No, no, it was empty. Mid one has the ulti here, so there's a potential for a, a punish here, but there's just here not much comes. damage. Wukong's command, the BKB gets popped by Troll. He dies deep. It's turning into a spread out fight. Mid one will get caught by the Ice Blast. They'll lose the tier one tower. SDSD almost dies to the Wukong's command, oh, but he, he does back the jump. out in time. Now they pick on Peksu off to the right, and Yapsor will be credited with that kill. He's the only death in this entire back and forth. The rest of the Dire will just keep me home and cut, but still a very tough fight. The Wukong's command, sort of a, a hard ultimate to fight around. Yeah. Yeah, down bottom. See that? He was hoping there would be a death pulse for farming so we could open with the stun. It was a, a nice heads up play, a good thought. It's uh, pretty comparable to boot, about 2k for secret. Gildan also now with his Defusal Blade. Set up here in the mid. Oh, that's a lot of AMs. He does have the Chrono. That is a shitload of AMs. And now he does not have the mana. He's slowed by the <laughs> Curse. Ace, he's about to pop him like a pinata, baby. Here we go. Ice Blast flies through. SPS, he may be in some trouble and he will fall. Three down. On Came over. So I feel bad. Because yeah. he just left. But once he's uh, a couple more levels on there, he can just oh. invis forever. Mid one, he gets caught by the Chrono. So it's a solo Chrono. Nice save from Puppy. It'll buy him a little bit of time. Mid one will still go down. But Chrono for that, it might be hard for SFT to, to go into the Roach Pit knowing that their big team fight ability is not available. Peksu, no mana. Ace doesn't even need the mana void. It'll just finish him off. That makes it a 4v4. Now Illidan goes in onto Fata. He gets decrept. STST nearby. Fata in big trouble. Glimmer Cape does not come out fast enough. And he goes down. Topson out of mana, but now he pops BKB. He wants Puppy. He may find him here. STST blinks forward. They destroy him. It's a one for three. A great fight for SFT. And Secret may have to concede this Roche after all. Nether Ward stolen from the Rubik. Very helpful in that fight. Clopping it right down by the pit. It was like they just had the blinders on, man. They killed the, uh, well, there you oh, go. Yeah, Another so quick grab a there. Too close. Oh, Sykes Ace does not oh. finish him off. Oh, he has the Yule Scepter. Now Ace comes back in. SDFG might get finished off here. Mana Void finds the kill. They at least delay the Roche a little bit longer, but they lose their Nyx in the process. Roche at about half HP. Ace does not. And now they're ready to team fight again. 30 I'm... seconds on Chrono, so still a pretty good window where Secret could try to contest. Look, I don't know if Secret have any more in the tank, though, do they? Not sure, they might lose Puppy straight away. He gets a little too cocky. He's still alive. Oh, the, the life Glimmer drain! Cape. Not enough, but Illidan will fall. The life drain from Fada on the high ground helps him out, but Ace, he goes in too deep on the other side, and he gets taken out himself. It's a sloppy fight for Secret, but again, they've got some resources here. The Void is down, and it's hard for Thompson to commit to the pit. He's low on HP, he's out of mana, and now Yapsor bringing him low. They force another BKB charge. Monkey King jumping up and down all around, and now the Dual Scepter by the Yapsor a little bit of time. Fata pulled to the low ground, but the decrep. He's got a life drain. It's not enough. He'll fall as well. The Dyer have picked up some survivability, but um, a lot of pressure on Fata in these team fights. SDST actually catches him. Illidan, he deploys the Chrono. They know how valuable this kill is, and Fata picked off. Maybe SDST. Illidan used so many charges. I'm pretty sure when they first went into Roach, he had eight charges. He's got one left. Look at this. Secret with the old dirty. They're going to lose their tier two quickly. Telekinesis on the puppy, but they're not sure if they want to commit. Reaper Sight comes in. It doesn't finish him off, but he will get clipped by Ice Blast, and that will. Up top, Anti Mage is split pushing. They have to get back. We'll stay here as Thompson. Thompson. Low. He's getting slowed down. Monkey King drops another defusal. They force another BKB charge. Illidan's back. No chrono. No man. Oh, Ace is Secret. in the base. He Limited killed Pexu. He can be careful. Oh, it's a stolen Wukong's command. Now, mid one. He's going to get. 
taking a taste of his own medicine, but there's no sugar to make Ace it go down. Ace is killing the melee rats. Finish off the Aegis. Now the TP's out. He's trying to drain STSD. It won't work. Illidan on the run, but now Fata, he might be out too far. Topson's here. He is so committed right now. He's got the blink dagger, and he will blink across. Makes it to the high ground. Anti-mage up top. He's finished off the lane of barracks. Ace has completely split pushed this. Odd position is SFT. Very spread about, start to back up. Lotus Orb keeps him safe for now, but Chrono, Wukong's command comes out. They're gonna try to focus mid one. He's getting low, he gets Reaper's Sight, and that'll be the end of the Wukong's command. Illidan getting low as well. Nikwa almost dies, but Ace doesn't have the damage with the ultimate. He'll try to blink away, and he will. Follow up to try to finish off some of these kills. Could be inbound. Puppy gets off the Soul Catcher, the disruption. But the sports staff will keep oh, him up Illidan. on the high ground. Illidan the getting train. drained. Fada doesn't have the range. He gets off the decrep. They blast him and they'll find the kill. Void down, no buyback. It's a 4v4, but Secret are right outside the base. Is that a stolen Wukong's command? It sure is. Rubik will use it as a zoning tool, and now Secret have to back up. Maybe looking for this tier 2 here in the bottom. I just had a case of uh, famous last words. Kill this guy. And I, I believe I, I said he they have no save because they don't there's no saving here on the die The best thing they have is like chrono, right? But the glimmer cape from AA has to walk into getting himself stunned to glimmer him and ends up saving without the lotus or but Disruption. Puppy. Puppy. The He's saver of the radio telekinesis this could be a sticky fight for Secret, but Ace, he jumps in. He wants STST. He needs one more, but the Glimmer Cape keeps him alive. Fada will bring down the Ancient Apparition instead, but Ace, Bash, he's taking damage so quickly. Another Bash! Oh my god, so unlucky for the Anti-Mage, but he will fall. Secret starting to get cleaned up as they... They need this thing, or else my Glimmer Cape's not going to do anything. I can't let him die. And now he's vendetted up, hasted, chasing after this Nyx Assassin with a Troll Warlord right there. Uh -oh. Easy. Uh, I think would have killed him in that situation. Just needed to spit on him, and he would have ended up in the grave. Anti-Mage, no buyback. He's down for 30. This could be another lane of barracks, but they've got the deep prep, so it makes it hard for the troll to push. There is also a glyph available for the Radiant, so they should be able to defend here. STST gets blown away. Fata will take credit for that kill, and SFT get a reality check. Making note that... Not there right away. Could be in big trouble. Down bottom, anti-mage. Uh, the ancients? They anti -mage they found the troll here. Oh, the setup. Topson. He'll get obliterated. That's a 10x streak down, but now Fada's got nowhere to go, and he might have to pay with his life for this one. He does have a life drain, but it makes no difference. Illidan will also use his BKB, so it'll be on cooldown for a while here. He's got a couple seconds left in secret. Might try to reinitiate. Fada's bought back. They want this. They know how big this window is. Illidan does use the chrono, but the disruption is there. Puppy on the backside. Troll Warlord will also buy back for this. Where are we going here? Unlucky, though. Secret definitely planning on that Roshi. Absor is going to walk right Again. into him. They do still have the gem, I believe. Yes, they do. Now Fada, he's joining the party, and Ice Blast Look will fly combos. in. This could be huge. It connects on two. Fada being one of them. Mid one deploys the Wukong's command. BKB from Topson used Puppy with another nice save. He has to pay with his life, and it does not keep Fada alive when it's all sudden done. Illidan on the backside does get taken out by Ace. It's a one for two. STST, still alive. Monkey King jumps over, doesn't find it, but Anti He has the dunk in. ready. It's a stolen carapace that actually keeps Rubik alive. He is one snaky devil, but now Topson, he's the one that bought back. If he dies, SFT could be in trouble, but he will live. Monkey King jumps before he can even blink away. However, you think in the more sustained fights, you'd probably rather have him in the gap store. This gem. Solo chrono. <laughs> uh, his team's taking a Uh, There's probably something that makes it bad. That's usually well, the case. I think uh, the regen is the big one. The other doesn't. Yapsor, though, will hold that thought as Illidan. He uses the PKP for this and another defusal charge. They will finish off Yapsor, but mid one comes in. He deploys the ultimate. Fata's here. It's a pretty big chrono. A stolen Wukong's command. Puppy again with a great defensive disruption. Buys to the time of the chrono and the void just gets evaporated. Nikwa as well. And all of a sudden, Secret have turned this fight. Fata's so low. He'll get cold footed, but the glimmer. Oh my god, he how is he so alive? Hexu now falls as well. Troll Warlord. The Did like 5,500 damage? Damage? Jesus Christ! Because he has items now, and they fought in it the whole time. The monkey's team went nectar all over their ass. He's a hell okay, of a hero. Well, 
three buybacks, and Ace is still going to get the ranged barracks. So that's a, a value add here for Secret. Lincolns gets broken. That's the fourth buyback. I think if you're Secret, you just get the hell out of here. You're happy with what you got, and you cut your losses. Yeah, Ace is going to turn, though. Illidan, he gets dropped. This could actually be the end of the game. If Thompson dies here, Secret should be able to finish this. Ace drops the ultimate. The Mana Void brings down the Rubik, and now the Troll Warlord falls. The diebacks are stacking up for SFT, and the GG is called. Secret go to zero in this best of five. Now one win away from qualifying for ESL One Hamburg. Very well played. Once again from Team Secret. It feels like they just give their opponents nothing. <laughs>